in this video we will be covering the bisection method we already covered the theoretical part of uh, the bisection method which is used to find out the roots of uh, nonlinear equations so if you are having in your equation your independent variable is uh, having power which is not equal to 1 or if you are having any trigonometric function in your equation then your equation becomes nonlinear if you are having nonlinear equation we had to find out uh, the roots by using an alternative way so one of the method we will use that uh, for to find out the uh, roots of uh, such equations is the bisection method so uh, we will directly go to the programming of uh, the to uh, programming corresponding to this bisection method in python so we already covered the theoretical part okay so first we have to uh, import numpy so uh, we'll give from uh, numpy uh, import okay so this is coming so I, I'm writing all these comments or instructions in a notepad and I will save it in a dot a dot py extension and I run the program in command prompt okay that's so that's method we have to use so then uh, we have to give the limits let's say a is my first limit and I am giving it as an integer value you can also give it as a as a float value so I have given this as input uh, that is uh, my first that is my first uh, limit okay so enter the first limit so that's my first limit and i will copy this uh, this one and i need uh, the second limit as my b and this is my second limit so that's uh, okay i have i have missed one in what come here so it should not be like that okay that's all about the limits now uh, i have to find out what is the mid value of this limit x sum which is nothing but uh, here plus b uh, by 2 and uh, sorry this is semicolon and then i have to define the function define the function f of x for example okay then i have to use f of x let's say uh, uh, y as your function value so which is equal to x star x any function you can give x star x minus 4 and I have to choose uh, return return the value of y to this function and then I have to go for uh, checking whether f of a into f of b which is a negative value okay because we need uh, this f of a into f of b negative then only we can find out the roots because in between these values we need f of x equal to 0 we have uh, we had to uh, we had to find out what is the value of f of a and f of b now so uh, f of uh, if I, I, sh I should write if f of a star f of b which is less than zero then only you can forward because f of a should into f of b should be negative uh, then only you can uh, go forward with the uh, the execution uh, so we have here um, while let's take while absolute value of absolute value of f of xm that is midpoint so we are calculating the function value at that midpoint and if we see uh, less than point sorry if it is greater than point zero one point point zero zero one then then only we can go for the next step so then i will check if uh, f of a into say star f of uh, x m which is positive this means that if it is zero then i have to replace this a with x m a equal to xm because you are getting uh, a point a positive value for your limit which is much more closer to zero if you are having f of a star f of xm is positive and if uh, it is not valid which means that else else i had to go for the equation a b equal to b equal to xm and then we calculate this uh, uh, midpoint value again for the new uh, a and b values so it should be like uh, this 
then we will uh, print this print uh, the root is comma xm and now we will go for this statement that is for if if this condition is not valid then I have to write else else I have to go for uh, print print uh, the limits are not valid okay so this is the program so I, I hope you understood this program as you have to give these limits uh, a, a equal to enter this, this uh, limits we have to enter then we have to go to uh, this statement or instruction which is uh, which is nothing but to find out uh, the midpoint of those uh, interval then we'll we'll define this function and we calculate whether the given interval value which will give you uh, a negative value by by taking this product if it is a uh, negative value then we are having uh, f of a or f of b is negative which is uh, which is nothing but uh, uh, satisfying your your condition that is uh, then only we'll be having f of x equal to zero in between these two points okay then we'll go for uh, the next step which is uh, the condition okay we have one mistake here so while absolute value of f of, is f of xm is greater than 0 0.001 then only we will check with, with, here we'll check uh, f of xm whether it is close to zero or not okay with this much of uh, accuracy then uh, we will be having uh, the condition if f of a is uh, star f of xm is positive then we have to replace the positive limit with uh, xm or we have to replace with this uh, negative limit with x. Okay, so we are considering this first limit as positive and second limit as negative here. Okay, that also you can enter here. Uh, then we will uh, we'll, uh, print the root. And if this limit is not valid, then we have to print the limits are invalid. Now I have to save this uh, file in dot extension format. I don't know what that is. So this I will uh, I have to save as my section dot py and uh, which is I have to save in uses uses welcome okay so this uh, this I have to run by using the command prompt then I uh, have saved so it is already there I think yeah I want to save name no problem so I replaced that sorry uh, okay so then i have to run this by using command prompt you if you are not having any idea about how to run in command prompt then you you just uh, search for cmd in your system then it will give you a black window like this so this is command prompt you can search in your uh, your system now i have to use the i have to type here my file name that is by section that is by section Okay, by section dot py, then I have to run this program. So first, it will show me under the first limit. I will give you a, the limit is two, and second limit, for example, I give two to the same limit. Then it give you, uh, it will give me that the limit is not valid. Or if I run it again, the first limit, for example, zero, and some second limit is four, then the root is two. So the uh, yeah, so the limit should be uh, valid in such a way that f of a and f of b should be negative or I can uh, give any other limits also for example 0 sorry uh, this enter so 0 and the next one is for example 2 the limit is not valid because when you substitute those values you will be giving for example 0 square minus 4 is minus 4 and if you take 2 square minus 4 is 0 so it is not valid which is giving you 0 for f of a and f of b but I can give uh, 0 sorry again uh, 0 and uh, next limit for example 3 then it will, it will give you one more somewhat more close value that is 2.000 some 15 something so that's all about the bisection method. I hope you understood this. Okay.